Today I will show you how to make this gory AI face explosion effect. Yo, it's Povikas here and let's begin. Alright guys, so you can do this on any editing software you want, but I'll be using Adobe After Effects for this. And what you want to do is take like a frame from a video and then just take a screenshot of it. So it's recommended to take a screenshot from the last frame. I have to give a shout out to Jacob Tiny Tapes for this idea. He kind of made a similar tutorial on his YouTube channel, so you can check that out. But basically it's recommended to just do it on the last frame. So you can, if you want to save it on After Effects, you can go to like composition, save frame mass file call it something like uh, pick one i guess i don't know call it whatever you want and go here to format and make it to either jpeg or png i just make a jpeg okay and now just press render all right and once you render it you need to go to hiluoai.video uh, now this is what tiny tapes used in this video and i'm gonna use it as well you just need to sign up and you'll get like a lot of credits at the start and what you want to do here is go to try now and as you can see i already messed around with a lot of these prompts in the intro of the video i use this one right here and and I'm just gonna drag and drop the photo right here to pick one, just drag it. And once you have it, you just need to type whatever you want basically, like to make it like explode. I like to make it a bit more detailed. So I like to type like face explodes with lots of thick blood in a very gory way. What we need to do here now is just press on 30. It's gonna take 30 credits and we have like over a thousand now, so it's all good. And if you do use this website a lot and you don't have the paid version, it might take up to like 30 minutes or something like, I I'm not even joking. Uh, it says content generation error, please regenerate. So I'm gonna press re-edit. Okay, I don't know why it failed there. Maybe it's because I already used like the same, same one or maybe because I just did a lot of these renders, but basically, what you should get is something like this and then what you will want to do is just go to here press on the with watermark because to remove the watermark you do need to have the paid version so yeah just press with watermark and it will download it right here we can rename it to like ai explosion it's messed up here so we need to press s and like scale it up like in different editing software it's going to be different and, yeah, and now we just need to find the part where it explodes right here and we can press ctrl shift d to cut it up in after effects and yeah it's going to explode like this this. Actually, I feel like we can scale up a bit more so we don't see like the black bars. Yeah, like this. And this is how it will look. And uh, now this will look just kind of lame like this. And you truly don't want it to just look like that. So what I recommend to do is like to press Control Alt T on this layer. And this is just for After Effects. And I will press on here. We already have this dot at the end. And I'm just going to drag this dot like somewhere here, I guess. Because we're going to basically make it like way shorter and to look actually cooler. Because now it looks just unnatural. So I need to press F9 while holding both of these keyframes. Uh, press on this motion blur button and press on here twice this will just give some motion blur and now while holding these let's go to the graph editor and yeah here we like want to draw something like this and now this is how to look you see the explosion kind of still happens like unnaturally just like that uh so i would recommend to press ctrl y press ctrl shift d to cut this and delete it press ctrl shift d we just want to make it to one frame and here we can add transform this is a little technique i like to use i like to make the opacity like 25 percent drag it right here and this is the last frame before the explosion here we can press ctrl d while holding on this adjustment layer and delete the transform and here we can add invert now this will look like an actual explosion like that so yeah, here we go so yeah, this is how it looks. I think that looks crazy. I would also like to let you know that I run a video editing website called poikas.com in which I have video editing assets such as presets packs and overlay packs. And these packs help me tremendously when I need to edit some edits or other videos. So I'd really recommend to check out the poikas.com because these packs are some real time savers. But anyways, guys, that's about it for the video. If you have any questions, then please let me know. But anyways, it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.